everyone, my name is Miranda and over the summer one of the things that I absolutely fell in love with was the show Stranger Things, as I'm sure many of you all did. But one thing that I really took away from the show, aside from everything brilliant about it, is how much I am now shipping Jancy, aka Jonathan, and Nancy together. Like, I kid you not, they're kind of the reason I started watching Stranger Things because I knew a little bit about it, but I was like, it looks kind of scary. And then on Tumblr, of course on Tumblr, I saw uh, image still of them and I was like, this looks intriguing. I want to know more about this whole relationship. And then I finally got around to watching it and I honestly like forgot about them for a little while, like just their whole their whole relationship because I didn't I didn't know anything when I saw the picture I didn't know who the two characters were and they didn't have any scenes together in the pilot so after the pilot I was looking up on Wikipedia to try and like keep all the characters in my head like sort them all out and they talked about Jonathan and it was like he has a crush on Nancy and I was like oh, no so of course as anyone does with their OTP I thought I would break down my top five dancing moments for you all obviously there are so many moments you could pick from but I managed to wheedle it down to top five moments and there are so so many so if you don't see a moment on here trust me I still loved it it just didn't make it into my top five so coming in at number five we have the hallway scene at school which is when they kind of first interacted I just really liked it because we could see the difference the stark difference already between Nancy and her other friends aside from Barb obviously and I mean Steve's friends so they're not really her friends but she was the only one that was kind of looking out for Jonathan and being like oh we should say something that's terrible what happened and she went up to him and she was just like a person to him she was just like I'm sorry about what happened like is there anything we can do and it was just a really nice moment because I think Jonathan needed that in that moment and it also kind of again it was like their first interaction even though they've known each other before for us it was like their first actual interaction and to me it was just so cute and so sweet I guess would be the word I use because it just seemed innocent and then to know everything that's going to happen afterwards I think it was a really awesome first moment because it was just so sweet and just so nice of Nancy and nice and you could see Jonathan really appreciated it and there was also that little undercurrent of like something more I feel like so I really like that moment I think it was a perfect first meeting then number four I have the scene at the police station after Jonathan beat the ever-living crap out of Steve and we have a lot of great moments at the police station honestly we have the woman who basically tells her that like oh only love makes you do something that's stupid so then Nancy is kind of looking at Jonathan in a new light like does he really love me do I possibly have feelings for him and it's it's subtle in the way it's shown but it's just like it plants the seed I feel like in Nancy's mind of maybe Jonathan could be something more for her and I know it wasn't acted on in season one but there's obviously that thought that maybe one day it could be and we also saw just some really sweet moments I mean she got the ice for him and was holding it against his face and he was making sure she was still okay even after he's bleeding and arrested and handcuffed he's making sure that she's all right because of what Steve's friends had done in putting that thing up on the movie theater I feel like it was a good contrast to the woods when they kind of fought and were at odds with one another now they were kind of like a united front like she didn't have to go with him to the police station and help him and get him the ice and she still did and they were united in saying that like telling Hopper that they found the monster and showing the pictures and it was just really good that that I think was a good moment for them when she didn't have to be there but they decided to put her in in the scene the writers and I liked it a lot. Number three we have when they were fighting the monster now these two I feel like I'm not the first one to suggest that they are the coolest most badass monster hunters ever to walk the face of the planet at least in Hawkins and I really like seeing them working together but the scene that I thought was really cool was when they were setting the trap for the monster and they decided to draw the blood together and they did the whole one two three thing and then they cut their hands so now they have those matching scars and it was just it was a really like dark moment obviously because you're like oh my gosh the monster is coming but again it showed the solidity of like we're doing this together and again I like that that he wasn't gonna let Nancy go off and do this by herself and she didn't necessarily want to do it by herself so it was nice that he was kind of the one listening to her and helping her and just being there for her because she I, I have to give Nancy credit I didn't like her in the beginning but she really drove ahead with the barb thing and tried to find her friend put her life in danger for her, and I really liked it and the fact that Jonathan was there for her I think was really cool I like that they have the whole contrast of 
Jonathan and Nancy and how they're kind of opposites. We also saw it in another really cute scene, which would probably be my number six scene. So right now I'm deciding to make a bonus scene that this would be number six when they are practicing shooting the gun and Nancy's so much better at it. And they kind of bond over talking about Bambi and Thumper and all that. But Nancy has always been the one that's more take charge and like, I want to kill this. I want to use the gun. I want to get these monster traps. Whereas Jonathan is like, he has the baseball bat. He's bad at shooting the gun. And he's more just like going along kind of with what she's doing. Like he's like, I'll go where you go kind of thing. So I like that. But I'm just hoping it doesn't point to a bad thing in their relationship where she could potentially lead him to his death ultimately by accident. So we'll see with that. But I just think it, it again showed this kind of reversal of their stereotypes where like she's the go-getter, the one that's like, I want to kill it, I want to go after it, I want to shoot it with the gun, I'm good at the gun. And Jonathan's like, I'm going to have my baseball bat and you just tell me what to throw at it. So I really like that. Now down to our top two moments. My number two moment is the scene in the bedroom, which I think is a lot of people's favorites. This is the scene I was talking about earlier that I saw that made me ultimately watch the show when after she was swallowed up into the upside down, Nancy comes out and is very, very shaken up. So Jonathan brings her home, offers him his coat, and then... He's going to leave and she says she doesn't want to be alone and he doesn't want to either. So he, you know, like goes to like lay on the floor like a perfect gentleman and she's like, you can come up here. Like I really just need th a person right now. I need to not be alone and I need someone who can understand what I'm going through. So that was a really sweet moment. And then we also had really sweet moments the next day when they woke up and they were kind of just like checking in with each other. Like, can you believe what we just saw? And holding hands when the mom almost accidentally walked in like that was just a really cute I feel like that's a pinnacle Jancy moment like me as a shipper was like oh this is really sweet but them it was just like a step in their friendship like she just needed someone and he as a good person was gonna be there for her so I really really liked it and getting down to the number one moment drum roll please dun, 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 dun. my favorite moment was previously mentioned and that was when they were in the woods and Nancy was swallowed up by the upside down well not really swallowed she kind of willingly went in there but anyway when she was in the upside down she was super lost the monster was hunting her and just the the contrast between her running around in the dark shouting for Jonathan and him shouting for Nancy telling her to follow his voice and try and find him and then when they ultimately do get reunited they have a big hug and she's just shaking and crying he's all like frantic because he didn't know where she disappeared to and it's terrifying obviously and I feel like it was a really good bonding moment because obviously it led to so many of those other moments like I said they just had their big fight in the woods and now this kind of was like we experienced this together I almost lost you and I was the only one that was going to know and that leads to again when they go back to her room and he's just trying to come for her as a good person a good friend and it was just it was a really emotionally charged scene for me because just the contrast again of like her being like Jonathan where are you and him being like Nancy follow my voice and like how they could hear each other but they were in completely different parallel dimensions and he was kind of her anchor to try and get her back it was really really awesome and I really really liked it so those are my top five Jancy moments obviously like I said there are so so many so many awesome moments that I could go with but I decided to go with these top five and hopefully we'll get some awesome more scenes in season two I know they're not together yet but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that yet is going to change very very soon and if you ship Jancy as well please feel free to leave your top five moments or just top moments in general any favorite moments you have when you started shipping them anything and all down below in the comments and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you ship Jancy and subscribe to my channel down below to be told to make all sorts of new videos and I will see you guys next time bye